So I get lost uh, in a train of thought and I wonder to myself, why can't I set wallpapers to change at custom intervals during the day? A wallpaper in the morning, wallpaper in the afternoon, a wallpaper at night. So I Google it and I found something pretty cool. So if you also want to go ahead and do the same thing, all you want to do, go ahead, head straight down to the description. There'll be two URLs, one uh, for a page on a Mac update to download uh, an app called Geek Tool, uh, and the other to a GitHub page where you can download uh, an Apple script. Download both of those uh, and uh, we'll be good to go. All right, so what you will get is an instant uh, application here. And what you want to do with that is uh, with this uh, Geek Tool app, at least you want to go ahead and just go ahead and copy that straight into your applications folder. And then we can go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, and the other thing you will get is a zipped file. Uh, what you want to do is just double click on that. Uh, OSX will go ahead and uh, open up their compression utility and decompress it. And what you will get inside of here is a folder with a couple of things. Uh, one thing you will get is a folder structure with some default uh, photos in here that you can that uh, you can replace yourself. Uh, this uh, the folder is called Time of Day. And you don't want to rename any of this. You want to keep the time of day folder. And then here you will find you have photo options for uh, uh, for afternoon, evening, and morning. Two variations for all of those time zones. And there's some details in a document here about specifically about uh, some of the specific times that this will be changing. Uh, but what you want to go ahead and do, uh, open up your photos folder. So uh, let me see, where did I put mine? Here it is. What you want to do, go to your photos folder. <laughs> go to your photos folder. Uh, go ahead and create a new directory in here called wallpapers. And at that point, go ahead and drag in the time of day folder. Now I've gone ahead and come in here to all the different times and added my own custom photos that I like. Uh, the next thing you want to do is grab this wallpaper.script file. Uh, don't open it. And you want to also drag this here into the inside of the time of day folder. So now at this point in time, what you should have left inside this OSX wallpaper changer folder is a single readme MD file. You should have a folder structure inside of your OSX, or I guess I should say Mac OS photos folder. And the structure should be pictures, wallpapers, time of day, this setup right here. Next thing we want to go ahead and do is go ahead and open up this wallpaper.script. Now, as you'll notice, what will happen is it will open up the uh, Apple script editor, I guess. And if we go ahead and click run, what you'll see is nothing will happen. Uh, let's see if I come to system preferences and I change the date and time, something like 11 p.m. or so. Hit save. Uh, and then we run this script again. What you will see is that it will pick up the time of day and go ahead and display the wallpaper that I have set to play uh, basically at night. So very nice. But as you'll notice, as we're changing the time here, uh, or as the time is changing, uh, the script isn't actually capable of picking it up. I have to open up the script and individually run it every single time that I want uh, to change the wallpaper, which basically defeats the purpose of having a wallpaper that will change itself during the day. So what we can go ahead and do is close out of this script file and head back to that downloaded folder because that one file that was left there is actually pretty important. Uh, now you should be able to open this file up in any, uh, I guess we'll call it a full featured text editor. Uh, I'm using Atom, uh, but if you don't have one of these uh, text editors, it'll let you edit. Uh, code, no need to download one, although most of them are free. Uh, all we actually need out of this file is a little line of code. Uh, so I'll be sure to put that in the description of the video. Uh, anyways, what we want here is if you do have a text here, what you want to do, uh, open this file up, go down to the bottom of the file. Uh, do want to give credit to the guy that made this uh, project here, uh, Philip. Philip uh, Hutchison, Hutch, Hutchison, I, I don't see an N, so I don't think it's Hutchinson, but Philip Hutchison, uh, cool guy, of course, check out his GitHub, uh, cool stuff there. Uh, but anyways, all we need is this one line of code, uh, this OSA script, do 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 and a directory. Uh, so we'll go ahead, come over here, and we will copy this, uh, also 
Command C works. Uh, so feel free to do that. And now what we want to do is circle back to that other app that we grabbed at the beginning here. So go to your applications folder wherever you have that and go ahead and open up Geek Tool. So this is an app that does a few different pretty interesting things, uh, but we're going to ignore all of that uh, to just do one pretty basic thing. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to come over here to, uh, I guess, the sidebar. And we want to click the plus sign to create a new group here. And we're going to call the group, uh, we'll call it uh, Wallpaper Refresh. And this is actually used to create uh, like desktop widgets, uh, like custom desktop widgets. So you can use it to create a file that'll stay on your desktop, an image that to stay on your desktop. Uh, but what we want to do is use that little bit of code. Uh, so we're going to grab this shell, drag it onto our desktop. And if we give it a moment, it will load like a little widget uh, and a preferences. Okay, so once it goes ahead and pulls up that preferences pane, what we want to go ahead and do is uh, hit this little uh, ellipses control here and it'll bring up a little script editor and what we can do is go ahead and just paste in that little bit of that little line okay and then if we exit that we have our command that we're going to be executing and then below that we have a refresh rate so this is going to refresh this bit of code uh, at intervals. So what we're going to set this to is about 15 minutes, which is what uh, the developer recommends. So about 1800 seconds. Uh, and, and what this is going to be now doing is every 15 minutes, this geek tool app is going to be uh, going and finding that Apple script and refreshing it. Uh, so at this point, we can actually close out of the app. It'll close everything up and it basically just runs in the background. Uh, and as long as you go into like your system preferences and make sure that you have that app checked to start up uh, with your computer, you will have no problem. So this will refresh every 15 minutes. Uh, so if we go ahead, come to the system preferences one more time and uh, go ahead and let's see, change the date and time again. Uh, let's see, come over here, unlock it. What we can go ahead and do is change to my 11 p.m. midnight wallpaper, hit save, and we won't change automatically because it has to refresh, but if we do just sit and wait for a second uh, or a few minutes, what should happen is our wallpaper will change. So, and okay, uh, so obviously I cut to the point in time when it did change. But uh, every 15 minutes, this will refresh. Uh, 15 minutes is a good uh, refresh rate. You don't want to set it to like refresh every minute or every second uh, because uh, that will, you know, uh, do some damage to your computer's, I guess, processing power. Uh, at least that's what I, I would assume. Uh, but anyways, 15 minutes. So within, uh, you know, a 15 minute spread at various points in the day, I think like 8 o'clock. Uh, 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 4 o'clock-ish, uh, at 9 o'clock. It will change wallpapers at various points in the day, which is really cool. So you can wake up and go to sleep to some of your favorite wallpapers and have kind of some nice poppy ones in the middle of the day. Uh, anyways, uh, this has been all for this video. I'm Kenzie Criswell. You can check out more of my stuff on this channel, uh, youtube.com slash Mackenzie G. Chriswell, but you'll never remember that. Uh, so just go to macc.co, M A K C.co. There will also be a card. Uh, so, you know, check that out. I'll see you next time.